This presentation is 100 Great Problems of Elementary Mathematics and how to solve some of them with the aid of technology. The technology in question being geometry expressions along with a computer algebra system. Here's the book, 100 Great Problems of Elementary Mathematics, Their History and Solution by Heinrich Dory, um, and it's available from Dover at relatively low cost. We're not going to do all 100, uh, but we are going to try and do uh, 6, so we'll be going uh, rather fast. Now, while we're solving these problems, I'd, I'd like you to think about a couple of different problem-solving paradigms. Uh, first paradigm, traditional. Um, we start with a problem, we create a mathematical model, and then we have some kind of mathematical insight into how we can approach the, the solution, um, and then by hand we do some computation perhaps and, and, and get a solution. A different paradigm that I'm going to be exploring today, again we take the problem and, and create a model, but we do brute force computation without putting any particular insight um, in to, to create the solution. And then once we've got the solution, uh, we can do some explore, exploration of the solution space uh, and, and gain the mathematical insight after the fact. And we'll, we'll see that in a couple of the different problems. So anyway, the first problem I'm going to look at is the poncelet briançon hyperbola problem. Uh, there's Jean-Victor Poncelet. Um, the problem is to determine the locus of the intersection of the altitudes of all the triangles that can be as, uh, inscribed in a right-angled uh, equilateral hyperbola. So let's move to geometry expressions. Uh, a right-angled hyperbola, we can uh, use the, uh, the function uh, y equals 1 over x, or y equals k over x. So there we have the, the function we can you know, increase k. So we, so uh, that's our hyperbola, uh, right-angled hyperbola, but we've just lined it up with the axis. Now we want to, to find the locus of the intersections of the altitudes of a triangle inscribed in that. So we're going to create a triangle which uh, where every vertex lies on the hyperbola, and we'll give a location to uh, the three points. That's T. We'll call this one S. Uh, we'll call this one location U. Now, we want to create the intersection of the altitudes. So here's, uh, well actually don't need the third one, but, but I've created the, alt the three uh, lines. We make them altitudes by uh, making them perpendicular here. Now, as we as we move the points around, we can observe that the intersection of the altitudes appears um, at first glance to lie to lie actually on the original hyperbola. Let's have a look at that. If we create the intersection of two of the altitudes, that will give us the the um, the, the point. Uh, the, give us the uh, orthocenter. And uh, now we can ask for the coordinates of the orthocenter here. And we can see uh, that y minus stu over k um, is in fact uh, k over x. Um, so in fact, uh, this point, by inspection of its coordinates, uh, lies on the original hyperbola. So the answer to uh, Jean-Victor Poncelet is the locus is the original uh, hyperbola. Uh, 